if you've been following along with these structure lessons, you've built a simple truss like this before, where straight members are connected into triangular shapes using pin joints. Which is just what it sounds like, two items pinned together. But in nature, we rarely see structures like this. What can we learn from the world around us and how can we use that to improve our structures? Let's take a little walk to get some biological inspiration. Take this flower, for example. These petals aren't connected by pins because they don't need the movement provided by a pin connection. Their point is to attract pollinators. If you check out ants, the joints on their legs may look like pin connections, but the ant's body itself is a structural member that provides a central support that the legs connect to. The fish in this lake have all sorts of complicated connections that allow them to swim, dive, and sometimes even jump out of the water. When we look at the shelter, we can see a very classic truss structure for a roof. These are straight members connected into triangular shapes, but these connections leverage some of these lessons from the natural world. These are gusset plates, and like the body of the ant, they provide a central support to help transfer load and strengthen joints. Looking around the park, we see other examples of this type of structure, from the carousel to this bridge. Here again, we see the gusset plate where the straight members connect, providing that central support. I hope you'll go for a walk yourself and see how many different types of structural connections you can find.